I've loved Erasure since 1993 when Always was a hit single on the radio. I was in high school and in the closet and I discovered this amazing synth pop band with the lead singer Andy Bell who was openly gay. He was such an inspiration to me and I loved that song and I still love it today. So I was super excited when I got to hear it on Saturday. That line about there being no shame meant so much to me as a teenager who was very ashamed to be bisexual. I didn't come out until I was 19 or 20, and I've been active in promoting acceptance of all the different orientations ever since then. It meant so much to me to hear one of my favorite songs performed live at the House of Blues in Boston this Saturday. It was the first time I'd seen Erasure, and Andy Bell's charisma was as amazing as I'd ever hoped it would be. It was awesome to see him and Vince and the backup singers. Everybody looked like they were as thrilled to be there as I was. And I got to hear new tracks. Everybody wants to tell me what I should do. But I don't know if I recall. I thought having him drop his voice lower and having the backup singers harmonize with him worked really well. I was also super excited to hear my favorite track from the new album, Phyllis with Fire. In addition to having super bouncy, fun sound to it, it also has fantastic lyrics. And I was pleased to hear that it's also Andy's favorite track from the new album, which he told us on the Erasure podcast not too long ago. I also love his corset, which you can see pretty well in this clip. I love that he's so into costumes. He had a sparkly sequin jacket. He has a corset. I love that he's willing to wear a corset. And soon you'll be able to see more of his fantastic costume changes. In addition to putting on a really great show musically, they also do all kinds of fun things that get the audience to go wild. In this next clip, we'll see Vince helping Andy to take his corset off, and as you'll hear, the crowd loves it. Of course, then Vince has to help Andy get dressed again, and the audience loves that, too. an amazing show and I was so excited to be there but mostly I just wanted to say thank you to Andy and Vince for making great music and for being wonderful people you've always been there in the background of my life inspiring me and comforting me ever since I discovered the song always in 1993 so thank you <laughs>